Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today, let's solve a few problems on inventory turnover ratio. In the previous video, we learned the concept of inventory turnover ratio. Today, let's solve a few problems on inventory turnover ratio. So the first question is, the question is also given in the description. The first question is, compute the inventory turnover ratio from the following. Opening stock is equal to rupees 10,000, closing stock is equal to rupees 16,000 and the material consumed is rupees 78,000. So now what is the formula for inventory turnover ratio? The formula for inventory turnover ratio is value of materials consumed during a period by the value of average stock held during that period. Now in this question, they have given us the value of materials consumed, right? So what is the value of materials consumed? The value of materials consumed is materials consumed. What is the value of materials consumed? Mat the value of materials consumed is given in the question to be rupees 78,000. So it is rupees 78,000. I'll write it once more. It is rupees 78,000. Now, we need to know the average stock held during that period. They have given us the value of opening stock and closing stock. Now, we need to calculate the average stock. How do we calculate the average stock during a given period? To calculate the average stock, average stock is equal to what is the formula for average stock average stock is equal to opening stock plus closing stock closing stock divided by 2 so this is the formula for average stock so in the question they have given us the value of opening stock and closing stock so, opening stock is equal to rupees 10,000. Closing stock is equal to rupees 16,000 divided by 2. Now, 10,000 plus 16,000, what will be the value? It is 26,000, right? And 26,000 divided by 2. What will be the value of 26,000 divided by 2? It would be 13,000. So, the average stock value is 13,000. Now, we found out both the requirements to calculate inventory turnover ratio. So, now let's calculate the inventory turnover ratio. To calculate the inventory turnover ratio, inventory turnover ratio is equal to inventory turnover ratio. It is equal to 78,000 divided by 13,000. Now what is 78,000 divided by 13,000? It is 6. So the inventory turnover ratio is 6 times. So with this we solved a really simple problem. Now let's solve another problem. The next problem is also given in the description. You can check it out. So the next problem is Calculate the inventory stock turnover ratio from the following information. Opening stock is equal to rupees 25,000. Closing stock is equal to rupees 15,000. And purchases is equal to rupees 1,90,000. So now we know the formula for inventory turnover ratio. The formula for inventory turnover ratio is value of materials consumed during a period and divided by the value of average stock. In the question, they have given us the value of opening stock and closing stock. So, we can calculate the average stock. So, how will we calculate the average stock? Average stock is equal to opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2, right? So, it is 25,000 plus 15,000 divided by 2, which is equal to 40,000 divided by 2. 40,000 divided by 2 is equal to 20,000. Now 
now we need to know the materials consumed. But how will we come to know the materials consumed? They have given us opening stock. So the stock with uh, which we have during the beginning of the given period. Then we purchase some raw materials. So opening stock plus purchases. Then at the end of the given period, they have given us the closing stock to be 15,000. So we didn't use uh, stock worth rupees 15,000 during that period. So then what will be the value of materials consumed? The value of materials consumed would be, it would be opening stock materials consumed. The value of materials consumed, what will it be? The value of materials consumed would, would be opening stock plus opening stock plus purchases because uh, this is the amount of stock we had during that period minus closing stock closing stock because we didn't use that stock during that period so the raw uh, the amount of material consumed during that period would be opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock so here the value of opening stock is given to be 25000 the value of closing stock uh, the value of purchase is given to be 190000 and the value of closing stock is given to be 15000 so what would be uh, this uh, amount uh, be what will the amount be equal to it would be 2 lakh 25,000 plus 1,90,000 minus 15,000 is equal to 2 lakh. So now we found out the value of average stock and we found out the value of materials consumed. Now let's calculate the inventory turnover ratio. What is the uh, formula for inventory turnover ratio? We just saw it, right? The formula for inventory turnover ratio is value of materials consumed during a period by value of average stock held during that period. So we calculated the value of materials consumed to be 2 lakh and we calculated the value of average stock to be 20,000. So 2 lakh divided by 20,000 is equal to 10 times. So with this we solved one more problem. Now let's look a bigger problem so the question is again given in the description so the question is from the following data for the year ended 31st December 2016 calculate the inventory turnover ratio of the two items and put forward your comments on them they have given us the opening stock of material A and B then they have given us purchases during that year for A and B and then they have given us the closing stock for A and B. The question is there in the description. So now let's solve this question. So what would be the inventory turnover ratio for what will be the inventory turnover ratio for um, material A? For material A the inventory turnover ratio will be what will be the inventory turnover ratio? We know the formula for inventory turnover ratio. It is the value of materials consumed during the given period by the value of average stock. So in the question for material A, the opening stock is given to be 10,000, purchases is given to be 52,000 and closing stock is given to be 6,000. So what will be the value of materials consumed? In the previous question, we just saw the value of materials consumed would be opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. So this is the value of material consumed. Uh, now, what would be the average stock? We know what is the average stock. Average stock is equal to opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2, right? So opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2, that is 10,000 plus 6,000 divided by 2. Now what will be the value? The value will be uh, 
let's use a calculator so the value will be 56000 by 8000 now 56000 divided by 8000 is equal to 7 times right now let us calculate the inventory turnover ratio for material b here uh, i didn't write inventory turnover ratio inventory turnover turnover ratio now let's calculate the inventory turnover ratio for material b remember the seven times okay now the inventory turnover ratio for material b how will we calculate it we will calculate it in the same way as we calculated the inventory turnover ratio for material a so the inventory turnover ratio for material b would be material b would be what the inventory turnover ratio for material b would be oh, uh, first uh, the material consumed that is opening stock 9000 plus purchases 27000 minus closing stock 11000 divided by the average stock how do we calculate average stock it is opening stock that is 9000 plus closing stock that is 11000 divided by 2 so what would be the value the value would be 25000 divided by 10,000 that is 2.5 times now for material B it is 2.5 times and for uh, inventory turnover ratio uh, it is inventory turnover ratio for uh, material A it would be what will be the inventory turnover ratio for material A we found out it is 7 times round, uh, 7 times right so now in the question they have given us that we have to put forward our comments on these value so uh, while studying the concept of inventory turnover ratio we had found out that a high inventory turnover ratio is favorable whereas a low inventory turnover ratio is not favorable so in this case inventory turnover ratio for a is seven times an inventory turnover ratio for B is 2.5 times. So which inventory turnover ratio is higher? Inventory turnover ratio for material A is higher. So uh, we know that uh, uh, material A is being consumed better than material B. Now uh, to brief why material A is better than material B. We know uh, while studying the concept of inventory turnover ratio, we studied that uh, if the inventory turnover ratio is low, it means that it is a slow moving item. And in the case of slow moving item, the material is consumed really slow. But we have to incur expenses, we have to incur cost on storing that material. Whereas in the case of fast moving item, the material is being consumed real fast. So the expenses, the cost that we incur on storing it is low. So in minimum investment, we are getting more benefit. So higher inventory turnover ratio is favorable.